Hello and welcome back. We're going to do a webcam motion detection and it's going to save them as JPEGs and you can pick wherever you want to load those to. I would recommend to some kind of cloud service that way if it's a laptop being stolen at least the images are there in the cloud. Um, but I'm going to save them to my desktop because I want to be able to show you uh, what's captured and what's not. Um, this is kind of a cool program and uh, I think it would benefit a lot of people who are concerned about people entering a room or um, whatever, a hallway, whatever it is. Um, so anyway, here we go. We're going to install uh, Motion. Now this is going to install quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, the SQL pa packages are required. And I'll show you why here in a little bit. Do, 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 do. I may have already made this directory, but make directory dot motion. This is going to be a hidden. Uh, yep, I've already created, but you need to because you haven't. Um, I'm kind of going over my notes here. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So we now need to copy over the information that's been made in the um, uh, directory that was installed um, just now motion and we're going to put this over in the uh, yeah we're going to put that over in the uh, hidden folder um, it's kind of required now we're going to actually go edit the motion config file that's located in the hidden motion uh, fought, or folder. So sudo, I use nano. Uh, I like it. I don't care to test any other. Well, I've tested a couple and this seems to work best for me. But uh, if you don't have it, sudo app git install nano. Uh, now we're going to go over and in, into this file and make some changes for the better. So it says that the Damien is actually supposed to be set to default or off, but it's already on. On. I don't know if they need to update that or if this is still a, a live project. Uh, don't worry about all this stuff that's been uncommented. So, of course, that's all done by uh, default. Again, I apologize for that. Now you can select how big you want these images to be. Uh, defaults 320 and 240, even though it says default is 352 and 288. It's actually 320 by 240. That to me is good enough. It lays out the uh, uh, date timestamps uh, completely legible. So um, all this stuff is not necessary. Um, I may do a video later for some of these advanced options. Um, here's where you can control a little bit of the brightness, contrast, and saturations. Uh, if you're doing some night video, saturation is uh, shouldn't be used uh, just for the noise. Uh, so okay, and and of course, if you need to color correct the video, you can set and play around with that. Phew. Good luck with that. Oh, trial and error. Ah, thresholds. This is going to be for the motion detection. Uh, 1500 is the default. I find that to be quite sufficient. Um, that's how many pixel movements can happen in an image before it actually starts taking pictures. I think 1500 is perfect. Perfect. But you can change it however you want. Um, noise threshold, I would leave that alone to 32. Uh, because if you got lights on, lights off, it causes all sorts of issues. Um, noise is one of the biggest defeats for motion detection, but they have seemed to got a lot of these defaults set appropriately. Now, let's see. Da, da, da. Now we are in the image file output. Uh, we want to make sure that this is on. Go to pictures. Quality, you can set it to 100% if you'd like. Boy, that gets me every time. Um, you can set it, to, I like 75. I, again, this is not going on a billboard, but 
Uh, you can set it to 100% if you like. It increases the size of your image. And then you got your picture types. I'm going to say JPEG. That's cross platform. Uh, movie outputs. I would like to say make this. Well, I'll leave that up to you. Do you want to record videos? Now, let's see here. We're just looking at capturing pictures when things happen. And we're getting into. Uh, yeah, this will be. Uh, yeah. Don't mess with that. It's all good. And your default values for the year, month, date, hour, and minutes and seconds. And. Uh, now we're looking for target directory. Uh, and I'm going to tell it, instead of using the var lib, we're going to actually set it to my desktop. So we're going to say home slash, and then you put your username slash capital D desktop. And that's going to create a new folder for motion. So I believe, I believe. And I can fly. And we're going to control X and we're going to say yes, enter. Now, it did not come back with any errors, which means you appropriately set your sudo so that you uh, could make those changes. So now we need to type in sudo motion. And that's going to start the process. My camera light has come on on my netbook. And very shortly after moving around a little bit, a motion folder is going to be appearing on the desktop which shows a couple images of me bobbing my head back and forth now these are small images again they are 320 by 240 and what are, you know you could actually probably set it to whatever your camera max is um, but you know time and date stamp right there boom and uh, let's look at it and let me move a little bit more and you'll see the folder kind of start to fill up a little bit so like I said, 1500 seems to be quite enough. Um, if I just kind of leave it running and kind of cover up my camera light, nobody pretty much know what's going on, you know. So um, now I'm sitting here just talking, which is not enough uh, pixel movement to start recording more images. But if I move again, kind of bob myself back and forth, um, it uh, starts creating more images. So there you go. Um, like I said, I've created this for my desktop. You could actually set this up uh, on, a, on a cloud service. Um, you could even remotely access these images. Um, again, I may do a video later where we uh, kind of go into the advanced options here. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. And uh, if you got any questions, comment below. So only like, share if you'd like. Uh, Visit me over at uh, Google Plus. That's where I answer most of the questions and uh, respond to some of the requests. And uh, if you should uh, feel like it, uh, go ahead and follow me over there as well uh, for the Bronze Productions. Thank you guys. You yeah, have a great day.